Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tea Tuesday. That's right, it's Tea Tuesday, and it's ho hosted by a wonderful, beautiful ladies, um, Kathy, uh, with Kathy's Favorite Things, and Life with Patty. And this week, I usually drink tea, but I have to go out and mow. And you know, I don't want to have to have to keep piddling. So I'm not drinking right now, and it's very warm here, which I should be. It's going to be over 90 today. Pool day, woo hoo. So, anyways, I'm going to read out of the book. Brenda Gant is going to be good, y'all. I'm getting good on that southern accent, aren't I? But I'll take a big gullop of water before I go out to mow. And today, we're going to be reading about rutabakers. Now, some people call them rutabakers. I call them turnip. And I like myself a good turnip. And here it is right here. And I fix mine. I haven't read this yet, but I fix my turnip with a little bit of butter and brown sugar. That's the way my grandmother always did it. So let's see how Brenda's going to do it. Now, cutting the rutabaga can be difficult. I agree, very difficult. So I use a meat cleaver or a sharp butcher knife. I start by cutting one in half. Sometimes part of it falls on the floor. So I just pick it up and wash it off. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Can't be wasting. Just keep going until you've got them all chopped up. Two large rutabakers, about four pounds, four strips of bacon, uncooked, and two teaspoons of salt. I've never heard of putting bacon in rutabakers, but let's see. Quarter the rutabakers, then peel them. Cut into one inch cubes, rinse with water, and place in a large boiler. Cover with water and bacon strips, add salt. Place the lid on top and bring to a hard bowl. Turn down the heat to low and let the rutabaga slowly bowl until tender. Mm, that's right. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Psalms 37.4 KG, KJV Kitchen Wisdom Never let the water line get below rutabakers. The pot, the pot liquor, liquor, I think they might have spelled that one wrong, is also great with cornbread crumbled in it. Never heard of it. Must be a southern thing. But here it is right here. Kind of hard for me to hold this book, but that's okay. And there's Brenda right there chopping up the rutabakers, as we'd call turnip here. And they grow them here in Maine. I don't. I I grow just the little tiny, tiny little things. And I and that's what we call rutabakers up here. They're like a little, little ball, like the palm of your hand. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Tea Tuesday. Come on in. Sit down with a beverage and talk about crafting. Talk about coloring. Talk about anything. Work. Talk. Fiddle, whatever you'd like to do. Play an instrument if you want. We'd love to hear some music. I know I would. So have a great day. Everything will be in the description box below. God bless. And we will see you on Wednesday for my budget meals, $5 and under. Bye now.